Hey guys, this is Court from electricbikereview.com. I've got the lead conversion kit here with me. It's got a 250 watt motor. This one's got the 24 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery pack. And I've got this nice hill here that's actually pretty steep. And I wanted to just run through a couple of scenarios and you know try to determine how good of a climbing ability this kind of a kit is gonna get. And really what we're talking about is that 250 watts that's the power of the motor paired with the 24 volts in the battery and that's how strong the battery is. So you could really apply this test to most 24 volt you know, bikes, electric bikes, as long as they're using the geared hub motor like this. If they're using direct drive or gearless, it's gonna get, it's gonna be even less torquey and probably have less climbing ability. Now, however, if you're looking at like a mid drive motor and it's only got 24 volts, it might be able to perform at a higher level just because you're gonna be able to leverage those those uh, gears in the rear, the, the drivetrain on the bicycle. So keep all of that in mind. And again, this is just a fun test for people who are, who are thinking about, you know, how this bike's gonna perform for them. Okay, now let's remember that I weigh 130 pounds, I'm 5'9", and this is just sort of an average bicycle. On this first test, I'm just gonna pedal. I'm not gonna use any of, any of the drives, any of the electric drives. Okay, so I made it. It wasn't really that hard. I did shift gears. I went to my lowest gear, granny gear, and uh, I was able to sit down, but it's a pretty steep hill. This time, I'm going to pedal, and I'm gonna use the electric assist, and we'll see how that works. Okay, so I'm pedaling, and now I'm pressing it. Okay, that was much easier. I was able to go a lot faster and I actually upshifted uh, to harder gears so I could pedal even faster. The assist really helped. Um, felt like there was another person giving just as much effort as I was. Um, now I'm gonna go, go into it. I'm gonna take a little bit of momentum and I'm just gonna gun the motor and I'm not gonna pedal. We'll see how high I can get it. There we go. Okay, well, we didn't make it all the way up the hill. The motor went from to kind of and then it just just stopped. That was that was kind of it. We were going just barely even one mile per hour and it was it was really struggling, so I decided to stop. This time, I'm not even gonna go with a running start. I'm just gonna try to go from a stop and pretend that, you know, that's all I've got is the throttle. I'm not gonna pedal and we're gonna see how it does. And I'm actually gonna start a little ways up the hill just to, you know, for a little bit of a more of an incline. Well, didn't do too well. We didn't even move an inch. The motor was struggling, kind of, uh, 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 kind of that kind of sound. I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera with me now and show you a more of a close-up viewpoint of what this is like. I'm gonna start out just pedaling a little bit and then I'm gonna hit the throttle. And so this will be kind of that test where we've got a little bit of momentum and we're trying to use the motor all the way up. And there's the hill. There we go. Pedaling a little bit and then motor. Well, you know, it did get us, you know, about halfway up the hill, but eventually it sort of gave out. Just, just couldn't handle it. 250 watts, um, not quite enough. And a lot of these motors do have like uh, overheat protection and stuff, so they will just cut out. 
so that it doesn't damage the motor and then you let it cool off for a while and you can try it again. Um, so here we're kind of letting it cool off. I'm going to get to a bit, of, bit more of an incline, maybe this stripe right here. And now I'm going to try to go from zero. So I'm just holding the bike with the pedal here and now I'm going to gun it. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's better than the first test I did. It was it just wasn't even trying. I think I was a little bit higher on the hill. So, uh, you know, what I found is that it needs a little bit of momentum, just a little bit, and then the motor will kick in and try to, you know, help you up. But if it's too steep, it'll just go So I'm going to try to demonstrate that here. It's just a little bit steeper here. You can hear it trying, struggling, but it's just not catching. It would need a little bit of boost and then it can go. So I guess ultimately to answer the question, uh, can these kits top, you know, get up hills, especially steep hills like this? I personally think it depends on whether you're pedaling into the hill. And if you help it out just a little bit by pedaling along, you're going to do a lot better. And it, you know, it adds significant strength to what you would do otherwise if you didn't have a kit at all i mean you know you you almost have to stand up to get up something like this uh, but with a kit it's a, it feels like you're doubling your strength really um, at 250 watts like this and again if you got a mid-drive system or something you'd be able to do a lot better because you'd be leveraging those rear gears so anyway if you've got any questions related to electric bikes um, you know leave, leave a comment here otherwise i'll see you back at electricbikerview.com